All right, I want you to think back to your favorite childhood hobby. And just imagine turning that into a career that would take you all around the world. Tommy McFly caught up with a guy who did just that, turning his passion for Legos into a larger-than-life exhibit opening this week in D.C. That's in the scene. You can visit New Orleans during Mardi Gras or the Roman Coliseum, even our very own Lincoln Memorial, all in Lego here at Brick City. Warren Ellsmore, you made all of these masterpieces. We're going to talk about them here at the National Building Museum. But first, how does someone get into this how does, world? How does somebody get a job playing with Lego? Yes, what's your origin story? <laughs> every Christmas, every birthday, it was always Lego. My parents can't remember when I started just because there was always Lego around. Uh, so I've been a fan since at least three or four. But always Lego, never the Duplo big bricks, apparently. Never, ever. Of course, you got to be brand loyal. I mean, my goodness. How do you even in your head conceive of this? This is outstanding to see it in person. Yeah, so, so there's no instructions for any of these models um, other than ones that we've written ourselves or I've done myself. So some things, if in a big model like St Pancras, it's got lots of repeating elements, so I'll design that in a special Lego CAD system. And a CAD system is how construction is built and how it is. Yeah, so it's a, it's a specialist computer-aided design system for Lego bricks. So it has all the bricks in there, and I can build digitally on the computer without needing access to everything. And it's at the National Building Museum. How convenient! We're so excited to show this exhibition for the next two years. A multi-generational global experience how it's an entire seven continent journey. And there are a lot of buildings that are very iconic that people will recognize immediately. Maybe they've been to them. Uh, but there are also buildings that are, are new to people. And before you leave, a very DIY DC project. At the end of the exhibition, we have a building area. Um, and it's in the form of a DC map. So you can build a new monument for DC, maybe, or build a new bridge across the river. How many hours did this take? So I don't actually know. Okay, <laughs> that's a fair answer. This is like, I would be like five years, five or six yeah. years. I mean, this was the last project that I did before I went professional. What was your day job before him? It was IT. And you told your boss, you're like, I'm quitting to go build Lego. Yeah, and he was like, I wondered when you were going to do that. <laughs> that's amazing. It's interesting you came from such a like, digital business to such a tactile, like architectural world now. Yeah, it is, but there's still a lot of similarities, I think, because the way we design models is similar to the way the real things are done. And to use your British expertise, people may notice this building from Harry Potter, but it's not what you think it is. It's not. This is St. Pancras Station. It's not King's Cross Station, which is the one right next door. But if you've seen the movie, they fly over the top of it in a car, so that's where you've seen it from. Warren, thank you very much. See, the more you know. At the National Building Museum in Northwest, I'm Tommy McFly, News 4.